Hey everyone, Nuno here and on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to build a proper subway network with under and above ground stations using the Metro overall mod on the PC version of City Skylines. Before starting, let me thank you all for helping me out to reach the 5000 subscribers milestone. That is an amazing feat and um, well now let's try to reach for the 10,000 subscribers, okay? Um, also, there will be a celebration giveaway happening really soon. I think probably early January, that's when I'm going to be posting it and talking about it. But um, yeah, a giveaway is coming. Uh, and talking about giveaways, guys, uh, you still have time to join the Christmas giveaway that I'm doing. Uh, that giveaway will end on December 25, so it's like you guys still have like a day or two. Um, so yeah, links are down below in the description, just uh, join it. And of course, final note about this video, uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer time because uh, I'm going to show you guys, so I'm going to create uh, the things, I'm going to create the stations, I'm going to create the line, the network. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna take a little bit more time and um, I prefer this way instead of just, you know, talking about it and showing random images of uh, what's going to be built. So this way it's like a it's a step-by-step -step process. Either way guys, let's start this tutorial. First, you need to install it and it requires a few mods and assets to work properly. And among them, uh, you will need of course the Metro Depot, which can be found um, not only on the Sim Workshop, but here on the game, uh, on the Metro tab. Um, also, Grand Stations and Elevated Stations that can be found here on the Train tab, uh, like you guys can see. And of course, the train tracks, uh, in this situation, of course, the single Metro tracks for uh, connecting the stations. So um, I'll be using Antica map, which, by the way, you guys can find out more about it on the gameplay series. And I'll be doing, um, right now I'm going to install um, not only the underground uh, subway, which you guys can also find different assets on the Steam Workshop, or you can use just the one that comes with the vanilla, which is the case, I'm going to use the one that comes on with the base game, vanilla base game. And um, I will also connect a uh, elevated and ground stations and uh, we will see how it works, okay? So the first thing you have to do is to place the depot and the main reason is this now works a little bit like the tram so you need to have a depot to spawn the trains, in this case the, the subway trains that will transport uh, everyone. Have in mind that this one needs to be near the at least it needs to connect to the nearest station so if your nearest stations is here up to the north then it ha it needs to have a connection to the north so let's just build it okay I just placed the depot now let's place the uh, train stations now the first one is gonna be an underground by the way uh, the underground menu gives you different options like the station land and as you guys can see I can make it bigger or even shorter depends depending on whatever is my plan I can make it um, deeper uh, by default it comes with 15 uh, meters deeper uh, I would go with 24 by the way so let's just delete this one so I can make it deeper 24 meters so it's 24 me meters uh, underground I can make it uh, on an angle instead of being straight. I could make it, place it somewhere around here on the angle if I want to do that. Or I could even make it, if it's like in a corner, I could bend it in a way that, you know, it could fit even better the um, network that you're building. I'll keep it on the same way. Either way, and also you can select the kind of station, how the platform is going to look like. I'm gonna go with the, uh, default option but you have other options and you have like the preview in here and you can select it for the above ground um, what you want to do is go into the train uh, and select a station that can be above ground so in this case you have the ground uh, bypass station this one stays sticked on the ground so 
Okay, so let's place this station. Um, the menu here shows now different options. By default, it will uh, it will plop it as a train station. So you have to select the metro station configuration. Otherwise, it will not be uh, selectable as a metro. And also, you can select what kind of um, style you want to go with. You have modern and you have classic. Classic, it's something more in the look and feel of Brooklyn City, something like that. So if you want, you can select that. Um, I'm going to keep it with modern. And I'm just going to place it real. In this situation, I'm going to place it here on this industrial area, not only because I have uh, enough space you have to uh, understand this is above ground but also it's an industrial area so it should be fine finally we're gonna have this other one which is the uh, elevated stations now you have different kind of elevated stations uh, once again when you select one you have the same options uh, don't forget to select the metro and in here you have different uh, basically what happens in here is that you have different sizes so and also have in mind that this is going to be placed uh, probably above some kind of roads that you are at some kind of place with the road or something like that uh, in this situation we are going to do that in this one in here which well it's also industrial but um, let's place it over here okay so we've placed the three types of stations that we can have now let's place the uh, the tracks now to place the tracks all you have to do is go back to the metro and select what kind of track you want now when you click on the track you have track options you have three two, three types of tracks now the first one is a single metro track line and as you guys can see it's only one single line you have this other one which is the double or um, how is it called um, the dual metro track which where you have two and of course you have the four uh, lines or four metro uh, in this case quad metro track line and you can also select the kind of style this is the modern style but you can go up with something more on the classic and as you guys can see it's a bit has a look and feel a bit older and you can also have alternate designs on it um, if you want to and make it over road friendly but either way and that's just the most important thing is to connect the uh, tracks with your uh, depot so let's do that first so the depot is connected to your first station. Next, let's connect to the second station, which is also this one and above ground. So what you want to do is if you are like me using the fine road tool, then you want to click here on the elevated and you want to start building it and elevating it to different sizes. So I know that this is 12 meters so let's try to make it up to 12 meters um, we are going to go above and that's that's the fun part we are going to go above the should be around here above this this park where everything should be fine and as you can see there is no issues regarding um, the roads itself. This is above it. Uh, unfortunately, it should show a, at least some of these uh, pillars, uh, and it has some of around here. Um, should be over road friendly also. Uh, of course, after that, you can make it more road friendly if you want to. And now finally, let's connect it to the underground. And to do that, in a very simple way, you have to click here on the tunnel so that you can see uh, where the station is and start building it on a way that it can connect to that, uh, to that road. 
Okay, so now everything is connected and it should be fine. So we have above ground, we have another underground uh, station. Uh, let me see where it is. Here it is. Underground metro station, you have above ground station and in this case in this case it's an elevated station where cars can go by um, below it and of course you have this other one which is ground level like that okay the next thing is because metro overall mod allows you now to do a bit more customizing when it comes to build your own lines so let's build a very simple line that goes here and comes back and finishes here. We're gonna call it Metro Line 1, that's okay. The mod allows you, of course, to select now different types of subways that you have access. I did download one called the M5 Metro uh, Line Caller. It comes from Steam Workshop. It's, you guys can select other ones, of course. This has a longer capacity, so it has more uh, users. It can take more uh, users into their um, vehicles. So let's add one and let's unpause it. And we should be able to see right now, and let's get out of here. And we should be able to see right now, this uh, Metro is getting out of depot, going to stop right now here on the ground station supposedly takes some of its uh, users and goes right and let's go like this then it goes right into the elevated elevated station where it should take more of its uh, more of its people and then it goes underground now I'm not sure if this is going to create some kind of bug on the underground because it's going to be a tunnel but we can we can click here and let's go underground here we are let's take the underground ride into the other section of the underground subway and here we are Finishing the, the, the ride, there's no one in the line, and let's go back to the elevated station. So we're going to go back. Okay guys, so basically that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe, and of course leave a comment if you have more suggestions on how to use this mod that I may have forgotten to say on the video. Um, also guys, I hope that this content was uh, useful and I also hope to see you guys on my next video. So yeah, cheers.